Okay, good afternoon to all of you. Thank you for inviting me to this uh, conference. And uh, I'm very delighted to make some introductory remarks because uh, I try to, to, to persuade that competition is also important. I haven't seen your program some word about competition, but I hope some speakers will support me later on. But um, for me, as competition uh, enforcer, uh, as a person who works at the Competition Council already for more than 14 years, it's um, clear that uh, there is very strong interaction between competition enforcement and competition on consumer protection. and. Uh, I think even that the uh, competition uh, is the best form of consumer protection uh, because on, almost only competitive markets take care of consumer interests. And competition policy and consumer policy, in my view, they are both like a faithful couple. They cannot live um, alone without um, the other because the both of them, also the both policies, reinforce one another operating at the ultimate benefits of consumers, despite addressing this goal from different perspectives. Um, we in our uh, director general meetings at the European Commission have very often discussions about interactions of competition policy and consumer protection. And um, therefore, I have studied a lot of uh, literature about uh, both policies, how they, uh, what kind of impact they made, uh, made on each other. And I have to say that um, in a, there is a plenty of articles and analyzing interactions between both policies. And there are also researchers who argue that um, consumer protection laws are important complements to competition policy. Um, because um, consumer protection can promote competition, since informed markets uh, work more competitively than the ones that are not informed. And it's very important information. Uh, uh, customers who receive in due time the necessary information, and then they can choose in the market from the market players. Um, Unfortunately, I have to admit that the, despite the fact that both policies are deemed to be interacting, it's not always possible in competition law application to take into account the interests of consumers. Uh, moreover, consumer harm in competition law may differ from uh, consumer harm in the field of competition, uh, consumer protection. And, um, personal me, I think that in uh, the consumer protection field, harm is... Um, comparatively easy to define and therefore easier to explain to the public, um, contrary to competition harm, to explain why we have made such a decision in the case like infringement, uh, abuse of dominant position, or some major cases which have been blocked or uh, uh, not blocked. And um, consumer harm, it's what uh, has effect of undermining the consumer's welfare optimization. Uh, competition harm is not always yeah, in the, such case, as I already mentioned, because in our practice we have uh, approximately 60% of all infringement uh, in bid rigging cases, uh, um, prohibited agreements, and uh, there is harm more done to taxpayers and not to consumers directly. And this is uh, specific of such cases. Or, for example, abuse of dominant position. We have had three cases where Riga Freeport abused dominant position by pushing the com competitor out of the market, uh, tugboat uh, company. And this is very hard to explain to competitors why this is abuse of dominant position. And uh, it's a situation because in Latvia the um, application of competition law and consumer protection is separated in uh, two different authorities. In, I know in many European countries they are both in one authority. In addition, there can be state aid regulator or sector regulator. We are in different authorities. Um, and um, however, before initiating each case, we try to estimate what kind of damage did the uh, customer suffer from alleged competition infringement or what kind of uh, benefits the consumers can receive from the proposed merger what we have to uh, uh, review and which has been um, uh, clear. 
And uh, our competition enforcement practice shows that defining consumer harm is difficult, or as I told, not even possible always. And uh, however, there are great opportunities usually for us as competition enforcers to focus on the markets where is really harm to consumers made directly. And that is what we do when we um, prioritize which market should be uh, seen as in sector inquiries, which markets we have to see what kind of regulation is. And um, this is the way how we cooperate with Consumer Rights Protection Center. As I told, we are separate institutions. However, together both we have achieved much better, if more efficient results by cooperating and doing uh, the market inquiries with the purpose to establish uh, uh, due processes in the markets for benefit of consumers. However, of course, there are new challenges and we have to be cautious, as in recent years, uh, both policies uh, have new challenges um, with regard to uh, sectors and businesses which are built on digital platforms. And then the challenge could be for both authorities in coordinating uh, um, that uh, we, uh, they are not working at cross purposes because unfortunately I didn't mention there can be also cases uh, where we have ap uh, applied crashed approaches and that we have had also in our history. However, we were able with Consumer Rights Protection uh, Center at the end to find the right solution for benefit of uh, consumers. And uh, how this is in reality from perspective of protecting consumer rights in different jurisdictions, I think it's a question we will deal with in the afternoon session. As I see from the program, there are uh, speakers from different countries, different jurisdictions. And um, as a first speaker, let me introduce uh, you to my very good friend. I would like to say Professor Hassan Kakaya. Uh, professor at Melbourne University, a former head of uh, United Nations Competition and Consumer Policies um, branch. Uh, and he is a very well known and highly regarded expert within community of competition law practitioners and researchers. And I know that he does a lot for consumer protection too, because the United Nations both are in one division competition, enforcement, consumer protection. And what's interesting is that for over three decades, uh, Professor Kakai has advised governments, public and private entities, and young competition and consumer agencies in over 60 countries on the formulation, development, and enforcement of competition and consumer laws and policies. And uh, his uh, contribution, as I already mentioned, mentioned to the institutional design to policies um, of national institutions is highly appreciated worldwide. And I'm very glad that such a person is today uh, among us. Let's uh, invite Professor Kakaya, and I give the, fl the floor to you.